In this video we're going to be replacing the timing belt and idlers, thermostat and gasket, and water pump with Subaru original OEM parts. Okay, so now we're going to line up the marks. We're going to put the uh, turn the crank clockwise until this one comes up on the crank. This one on the passenger side cam. We'll line up on top here. And this one is going to come up to a little cutout there. Almost there. And very little. Just a and there's the crank lined up. And here's the passenger side cam lined up. Okay, we're taking out the lower passenger side idler. Now comes the upper idler side pulley. Now you've got an 11 on there? 14. 14. Okay, this is 14 millimeter. Okay, now the belt can come off. I can read. How many on there? 110? 107,000. 107,000. We're doing the tooth idler down here. By the water pump. Again, these are all 14 millimeter. Okay, next we'll pull the tensioner out. Right here. Seven, 14 millimeter. Another 14. I did that for the... Sorry. Okay, next to the water pump, we have 10 millimeter here. Six. There are six. And these aren't torqued like the... 14 millimeter bolts were torqued. Much lighter. And so on. There the six are. They're all the same. Okay, there's a hose right here. But these needs to come off and clamped on. that hose off, out comes the pump. Now the thermostat is inside this housing here, thermostat housing. And we're going to change that out to 10 millimeter. Nope. And broke loose. See why, why the there is that stuck in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so put a new thermostat in there. I think it's this way. So it goes like this. Well, it goes the same way. There. A couple of screws in there. Still right here, in there. Don't drop the nut. I'm torquing this to nine foot pounds. So 
we're doing them in stages back and forth. Just got them to like four. Okay, do the little hose first and clamp it back on. And you can do the large one. Install the pulleys. The three pulleys and torque to 28.8. Remember that was 14 millimeter, and the black one goes just to the left of the crank, crank pulley. Okay, I'm going to do the tensioner next. Same 14. 14 millimeter. Must also be 28. Huh? Now we can torque those. the belt stays put during install we're clipping it to the uh, to the cams okay so we're putting in that toost idler make sure it's taut okay got it started Ready to torque. A little trick, little, oh, it's a little frustrating to get that one going, get it threaded, but not too bad. Okay, you can pull the pin now. And I'll take it for two trips around. <laughs> Okay, we're going to take it for two clockwise revolutions now and make sure the timing marks are aligned and that we aren't getting any resistance at all. Make sure everything's turning fine. One, 22 millimeter on that bolt again. Okay, there's one revolution. We're still lined up. She can do it there. Double check your marks after two revolutions. Okay, thanks for watching. We're at the end of part two, and we're going to take the crank pulley bolt out by holding the one of the camshafts with a 17 millimeter socket. Thanks for watching. Covers back on. 11 on the left. Three on the little right inspection cover. These are like three foot pounds, so just snug them up. Don't overdo it. It's just a crank pulley. Or at least I thought I was down here. Line up the keyway. Put it in. Okay. The bolt. And we can insert our holding tool. Stage one is 34.7, 22 millimeter. Yep. Okay, this is a two-stage process here. Now we're going to turn the crank bolt 60 degrees and finish it off. Okay, so we're going by 60 degrees, plus 60 degrees, 34.7 plus 60 degrees. We've calculated that and marked that out right here. So we're going to stop our ratchet right there. 
Okay, you can put this uh, brace back in, 26.6 foot-pounds. Six point six foot pounds. Okay, that's the way the serpentine belt goes on. Oop, wrong way. What was, did I loosen that? There we go. Now we're in, now we're getting to be in business. Did yeah. I loosen that? I think I did. Oh, we'll get it some more. Upper hose goes back into place. Reconnect the battery. Put in coolant. Special system conditioner. And that conditioner was mixed in with the coolant. Okay, run it up to operating temperature and make sure the thermostat is open, the lower radiator hose is hot, and then check the level again after it cools off. If it looks good, we're ready to go. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, there are more helpful videos to come.